Christian Aguilar is calling out to the wolves. About 35 Mexican gray wolves, or lobos, live in this area in the state of Chihuahua. Aguilar is involved in a project to reestablish and grow populations of the Mexican wolf, or Canis lupus bailei, to give it its scientific name. They are shy creatures. It's hard to spot any here in the Sierra Madre Occidental mountain range, which extends over almost two million hectares. But Aguilar says the evidence indicates some are nearby. Here we see several sets of footprints. They look quite fresh. So the wolves could still be here. This shows that they're alive and looking for food. Aguilar checks one of the camera traps. The photos confirm what he suspected. Wow. 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 Here are a couple of young wolves. They're looking good, healthy, and behaving normally. This camera only takes still photos. Others record video. Aguilar is pleased. These wolves look well-fed. That's good news. The Mexican gray wolf is an endangered species. He says the composition of their feces is also a good sign. You can see the hairs from the animal it ate. Wild turkeys are among the animals lobos hunt in the wild, along with deer, squirrels, rats, and peccaries. Aguilar will examine samples of wolf feces in the lab. He says the hairs probably come from a deer or a peccary. So it looks like the wolves here have plenty to eat. That means the wolves won't hunt cattle. And that should help resolve the conflict with the cattle ranchers. Ranchers and landowners had almost killed off the Mexican wolf. Its natural habitat used to extend from the southern United States to southern Mexico. Dozens of organizations in the two countries have got together to re-establish populations in the wild of robust animals with enough genetic diversity to be genetically viable. Eduardo Payan is one of the few ranchers around here who would welcome more wolves. He's even made his land available to the project. Two wolves will be released here in a few days' time. While his father used to hunt wolves, he says the environment would benefit if they returned and took their rightful place in the ecosystem. They're an important link in the food chain. The advantage for cattle ranchers would be that wolves would displace the coyotes. They don't really belong in this ecosystem. Wolves are competition for them and would drive them away, because wolves are the natural predators here on the ranch. Wolves often leave remains of their prey behind, providing food for scavenger species. Wolves also help maintain the health of the cattle because they tend to attack sick and weakened animals. Christian Aguilar regularly visits ranchers and tries to convince them of the advantages of having wolves in the area. It's no easy task, especially when wolves have been spotted within 200 meters, as happened here. We live off our animals, so we have to look after them. We have to protect ourselves from any predators that jeopardize our livelihood, and that often means with guns. Muchas de las veces, pues hasta con armas. 
Aguilar tells ranchers that under certain conditions, they will receive compensation if a wolf kills livestock. He also points out that wolves don't normally like to have cattle for dinner, while pumas and coyotes certainly do. And they, in turn, tend to move away from areas where wolves live. At the Buena Vista del Cobre wildlife facility in the neighboring state of Sonora, 11 wolves are being prepared for their return to the wild. Today's exercise, hunting wild turkeys, brought into the enclosure especially for the purpose. Veterinarian Fausto Armenta tries to observe the hunt from a distance. We're hoping they'll come out so we can evaluate their behavior and their hunting skills. These wolves are about to be released into the wild and we want to stimulate their hunting instinct with live prey. To survive in the wild, they have to be good hunters. It's important that as the wolves hunt, they can neither see nor smell people nearby. I'm looking for them, but I can't see them. And that's a good thing. It means they've run away from us. The wolves shouldn't assume people will continue to provide them with food. They need to fend for themselves. And it looks like they already are, to judge by these turkey remains. Back on Payan's ranch in Chihuahua, the time has come to set two wolves free, a male and a female. They leave their human carers and are now on their own. They can join a pack or have pups and start one of their own. <laughs> 